Hi, Pam here. This video is on what the porn industry, yeah, porn industry, doesn't want you to know. And how it changes your brain chemistry. And some other things I'm going to share with you. So, stay tuned. So let me first start off by saying this video is not meant in any way to be condemning of anyone that is watching pornography. I watched pornography before and it's something I did a long time ago, you know, my early 20s. And I think anybody with a normal sex drive would be curious about pornography, so I'm not condemning of it. The one thing I will say is, when I did see those graphic things back then, and it wasn't on the internet back then, it was some other means, I felt the lure of it, it was luring. And I noticed that, I felt that draw, okay? And I think it can do that to many people, you know, women too. It's not just men, but it can draw us in. And back then, I had heard that pornography, though, was very addictive. I heard that back then, I was told it was addictive and it was damaging. So, hearing that and knowing that, I decided, and since I felt that little lure for the brief time I looked at it, I decided to steer clear and stay away from it. And that's what I've done ever since. I have never looked, and I'm not like patting myself on the back about this, I'm just telling you, I've never looked at pornography one time, not once, on the internet, okay? The way I did back then with some other means, uh, okay? pushed on us from them okay them it is I'm sorry it's the elite money making people who only care about the money they don't care about you or I they don't care if it harms you they don't care if it hurts women they don't care if they're sex trafficked they don't care if it's changing your brain chemistry they don't care if it's ruined your life to have a normal, healthy relationship. They don't care. Okay? Yeah, so. Yeah, it's a $97 billion industry. The porn industry. They are making so much money off us. And so, let's start with that. So, the motive is they want to lure us because of the money, okay? So they don't tell you the truth, just like there are a lot of things going on in the world they don't tell the truth about. And me, I don't like to be controlled. I don't like to be controlled by things, whether it be addictions, drugs, people, whatever. Why? Because you shouldn't be controlled shouldn't be healthy things are not controlling and people shouldn't control us and we should always be able to make up our own mind and our own choices all right so but they lie to us and they lie to us so the first lie is the porn industry they promote it because of their money they're making a lot of money they promote it and they say it's harmless, it won't hurt you. They actually promote it being a good thing. It's not, it's not a good thing at all. I've done a lot of research, it's not good. They have so much stuff out there. So, as far as the brain, it actually, I wrote this down, there, there's so much information on that, just Google what does pornography do to your brain? I can put some links down below. Repeated consumption of the porn changes your brain chemistry. So what it does is it triggers the brain to pump out 
chemicals and form new nerve endings that lead to profound changes in the brain. So of course, as you know, when we look at pornography and that you get that rush feeling of rush heightened excitement, it's the dopamine that we get that rush from and it's that feel good hormone, okay? But he likes that feel good hormone. But they found that every time you watch pornography and you get that dopamine rush, then it creates in your brain this urge that you want that rush again. You want that rush again. They actually, in studies, what I read, compare it to a heroin addiction because of your brain chemistry changes. They looked at studies, they have studies of the brain, and the brain structure changed just like a heroin addict or a severe drug addict. So let me ask you a question. Do you want your brain chemistry changed? Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't want that. I wouldn't want anything changed. Okay, you don't want your brain chemistry changed. Now, jumping ahead here, the good news is your brain chemistry will keep getting changed the more you watch it, and it's going to suck you in that hole more where you can't get out. But in the end, if you really want it to stop, there is help. They have a lot of reliable sources to help people, and one of them is to cut it off like cold turkey cut it off and to go for so many days not touching the stuff you can't really do pornography as like a little casual pastime i mean it's almost like you can try to do drugs on a casual pastime but most people certain type of drugs will get addicted you know so Pornography, yeah, it's a terrible. So how the cycle goes is you watch the pornography, say you're watching soft porn, and then you get that dopamine rush and feel good, and then later when you come down off of it, you get an uneasy feeling and you feel down. And if you don't like that feeling, you want that high again from the dopamine, so it lures you to want to watch the pornography again. However, each time you're watching it, what was giving you the high and the rush at one time is no longer doing it for you. So you have to up it. You know, say you're learn looking at some softer core kind of pornography, you got the rush after I don't know how long period of time, it no longer is going to satisfy you. And then you go searching for heavier stuff. And then the same thing, you start watching that. And then to get that rush, that high feelings, you come down off of it. So that's where the addiction, where it pulls you in because you want that feel good feeling again. But eventually, it just, eventually, it just keeps going and it escalates. It's like a never-ending spiral. And, yeah, so anyway, that all has to do with your brain chemistry. But remember, there is hope for change, but, you know, they have stuff out there for that. And I am going to put some links, some videos down of some videos of guys that were pornography addicted and how they broke free. So I'll include that. Okay, so I bet you didn't know this too. There's a lot more to it. So they never tell you this. The porn industry doesn't tell you this. So when you are involved in the pornography you are not able to have normal healthy relationships you're not that's what it says everything but yet if you read certain things from the pornography industry they're telling you it will make your relationship better you know you'll have a better sex life 
that's not true, it's a lie. Because then what happens is two things. You, it said for guys, you will no longer be able to have normal sexual relation won't do it for you. It would have to be like up here, like all the stuff you see in porn, which is fantasy. They're playing a role and they're putting a movie on for you. And it says it causes erectile dysfunction. So you wouldn't even be able to, you know, get, um, not trying to get an erection after a while because normal won't do it for you. Well, you know, relationships are normal. You meet a normal person, normal partner, you're attracted to them. But yeah, if you have a pornography addiction, you can't have a healthy relationship and it ruins your chances, as flat out does. It says every study has said that. So, I have a lot more to tell you. So stay tuned. So, I'd sit down, but the, the lighting's not good. So maybe if I sit on the arm of the chair, try to. So, I feel really sorry for the women who are in porn, and I'm not being condemning of them at all. Because I bet you didn't know this. I've seen a lot of documentaries, and then I've done a lot of research, and... Almost all those women who do porn, and I wrote this down because I had this on the list, the ones who are nude models, strippers, porn stars, and prostitutes, almost all of them were sexually molested or sexually abused when they were a kid. So when they were growing up in their formative years, someone molested them sexually abuse them and these documentaries I saw and other reading of articles these poor women all said that okay and it's like a trauma and and early on sometimes when they're doing it it's not like they're aware of it it's like anything you know that happens to us in our childhood uh, you're not always like aware why you do what you do and later, you know, later if you're willing, you figure it out and it's because of this, your parent, you know, type of a thing. So, and yeah, I can give you some stats on it, but I thought this was really interesting. Then I came across an article. Do you remember beautiful? I still love her. Pamela Anderson and the blonde and you know I don't know to young people now know who she is probably still do but yeah she was such a beauty and she was on Baywatch and Playgirl Playboy Centerfold and all that stuff anyway she's out now and told all kind of things why she did the things she did and she said exactly that. She wrote a whole big thing. She's an advocate for it now. And let's see. Yep, she said that she was molested from age 6 to 10, a 6-year-old to 10, by a female babysitter. So that was first, molested then. And then she said by age 12, she was raped by a male adult. And then she said when she was a freshman in high school, she was gang raped by six adolescent males. And she said her parents, uh, you know, I guess they were dysfunctional. They didn't want to see what was happening or they didn't notice it. So there you go. And she said she's out about it now. That's why she did what she did, why she was promiscuous, because they have statistics that women or children that are, women, children that are sexually molested later become either very promiscuous or they want nothing to do with it at all, but most of them very promiscuous, say that word. So, 
Again, does the porn industry tell you that? No, they don't. They make it appear like the women in porn all are just love and sex so much. Okay, they're love and sex, but yeah, no women woman can love sex on camera with all kind of different guys doing all kind of different things. Okay, it might appear they're loving it. They're acting. They don't love it. They hate it. That's what they said. I'm not saying normal women hate sex. That's not what I mean. I'm talking the porn stars. You know, they're pushed into it. And the other thing they said is they don't lead you to believe they get sexually transmitted diseases. But I read a lot of things on the sexually transmitted diseases are passed around by the porn stars from one to the other. So it's not like they're sexually transmitted free. They're quite frequently treated for the sexually transmitted diseases of having them. And the reason they said for that is because the whoever in charge of them doing their porn doesn't want them to wear a condom because they don't want to see condoms on porn. So yeah, they don't care because they don't care about them. They don't care. They want the money. That's all they care about. And those women are groomed at a young age. And they're sex trafficked, you know? So maybe, you know, it's just good to know next time in your fantasy when we're all thinking that they're loving every minute of it, they're not. They're not. They were groomed and they hate it, okay? Because I will say this, because I don't want this video to be too long. Normal women, and there's research out there, normal women who have healthy self-esteem don't do things like that. And again, I'm not putting those women down at all. I don't look like down on them like they're scum or something. I don't look, I feel sorry for them because I know what they went through. I know they were sexually abused and I know why they do what they do. So I feel like bad for them. I don't feel disgust for them. I feel sorry for them. Like I'd like to help them. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. So I don't look at them like, uh, like that in any kind of condemning way for what they're doing. I understand it. So yeah, it's sad. It really is. But anyway, I don't know if I need anything more. We'll find out in a moment. Here's what I'm going to do. Because I don't want this video to be too long. It's getting long. So I am going to put down below, I'll put down some links, but I'm also going to put down below some of the stats. And if you want to read them, you can, rather than me reading them out here. Well, my video will be down underneath for you. But, so, in the end of doing this video, yeah, the bottom line is everything I've read is, it really is, this is an epidemic. And it's been pushed on us from them. Okay, them. It is, I'm sorry, it's the elite money-making people who only care about the money. They don't care about you or I. They don't care if it harms you. They don't care if it hurts women. They don't care if they're sex trafficked. They don't care if it's changing your brain chemistry. They don't care if it's ruined your life to have a normal, healthy relationship. They don't care. Okay? But I don't know. I do care. So, again, it's your choice. I don't, I'm not telling anybody what to do. All I'm doing in this video is sharing some things you may not have known because you've been lied to. And then you can make your own choice. Okay? But, uh, yeah, I think it's sad. I really do. And again, I have to watch it myself, meaning stay away from it myself. I would be subject to the exact same thing. So it's like one of those sayings, just say no. You know how they always say, just say no. So I just don't look at it, you know? I just steer clear. I don't look it up, I steer clear. I stay away from it, it's not going to affect me, okay? It's 
not going to affect me. You're not going to miss out on your sex life. And I'm sure your imagination can think of things on your own without needing to see porn for having a healthy, good sex life with someone you care for. You know, it actually does the opposite. It'll ruin your sex life, okay? So anyway, and it also causes more sexual crimes in the U.S. and elsewhere. So anyway, I hope it helped. <laughs> I know it's controversial, but that's okay. And until next time, I'll see you.